light, glorious light, twinkling, sparkling, delightful light. Light always signified the beginning of day, the dawning of a new era, utterly pure and unstained. It was God's instrument in sending messages, guiding Mary and Joseph in their journey, and leading the people that knelt before the newborn child, Jesus. For the people of San Fernando, the lantern is a symbol of a tradition that stood the test of time. More than a source of living, it signifies the coming of Christmas, when a big, bright, shining star led the way to the manger on that first Christmas night. This is the San Fernando Lantern, or parul as commonly called. The interplay of colored lights, which marks the Fernandino's creativity and ingenuity, is carefully synchronized, assuring the glow it will bring to the dark, cozy night of the Christmas season and the warm, ecstatic expressions on the people's faces. The Parade of Lights started in the town of Bacolor in 1900, with people joining the procession around the community before going to church. This tradition, called Lubenas, was continued by Fernandinos after the provincial capital of Pampanga was transferred to San Fernando. They did this during the dawn masses held from December 16 to 24. The procession in each barangay had 12 candle-lit lanterns, symbolizing the 12 apostles, accompanying a cross and the image of the barangay's patron saint with a bigger lantern beside it. The barangay processions converged near the town church and waited until the patron saint of barangay San Pedro Cutud St. Peter, believed to be the one who holds the keys to heaven, arrived and led the way into the church. In the last two days of the Lubenas, barangays went full blast by displaying bigger and more colorful lanterns, trying to outdo others as if it was a contest of brightness and creativity among them. The lanterns were displayed together outside the church as a symbol of Bethlehem's guiding star on that first Christmas night. Later on, light bulbs were used for the lanterns, operated by car batteries, then generators. Everything was a barangay effort with residents sharing their talent and craft to make a unique lantern. The tradition continued and the competition became steeper it became a test of endurance as the competing lanterns were simultaneously lit until their bulbs blew out. There were no rules. The judges were the people. The lantern that outlasted the rest and had the greatest impact on the public was declared the winner. Electricity in San Fernando was first introduced in 1931. It sparked the first giant lantern encouraged by President Manuel L. Quezon as part of his plan to develop Pampanga into a model province. With electricity, the lanterns were now equipped with switchboards that made light interplay possible. Years after, colored plastic replaced the traditional Japanese paper covering the bulbs that produced that fanciful mix of colors found on each San Fernando lantern. This unique color combination gave prominence to the Fernandino lantern that now carried designs revolutionized by a certain Mario Datu of Barangay del Pilar. Others, like the Davids, the Kiwas, the Limsons, Susing Maglalang of San Jose, Emilio Dizon, and Belo Policarpio, made their own marks on the San Fernando lantern. From 1973 to 1978, during the martial law years, the tradition of the Giant Lantern Festival stopped as a result of high cost, curfew, and the daylight saving time policy of then President Ferdinand Marcos. However, in 1979, 
the tradition was revived. In the 1980s, the local government of San Fernando started to support the participating barangays in the Giant Lantern Festival and initiated the creation of rules and guidelines for the competition. In 1982, San Fernando's officer in charge, Vicente Macalino, decided that the lanterns should not exceed 11 feet in diameter, but not less than 10 feet. Eight barangays entered the competition with monetary support from the municipal government and the Rotary International, amounting to 7,000 pesos for every barangay. Two years after, Mayor Virgilio Sanchez gave 20,000 pesos for each entry. And in 1988, Mayor Paterno Guevara gave 55,000 pesos to each barangay. The tradition was again challenged in 1991 after the Mount Pinatubo eruption, when the Giant Lantern Festival was almost postponed. For Mayor Guevara, the festival was a sign of strength and a tradition that many come a long way just to witness. For him, it was also an opportunity to exploit San Fernando's tourism potentials. That December, the Department of Tourism gave 25,000 pesos for each entry. Time and again, the San Fernando Lanterns proved international prominence. In 1992, it was the World Expo in Seville, Spain. On the following year, four giant lanterns were exhibited in the Philippine Christmas Village in Los Angeles, California. Exhibitions also took place in Taiwan and Japan. The tradition lives and has caught the eye of many countries. In 2004, many tourists and ambassadors came to the now progressive city of San Fernando to witness the full grandeur and the extravagant display of the colorful, intricate lights of the giant lanterns. The city government, under the leadership of internationally acclaimed Mayor Oscar Rodriguez, gave more than 100,000 pesos to each competing entry as a sign of support for this century-old tradition. The San Fernando Giant Lantern is a product of Kapampangan innovation, creativity, and tireless passion, earning for the city the title Christmas capital of the Philippines. The giant lanterns of San Fernando, truly Kapampangan, truly Fernandino.